In my previous video, I was content with hanging around camp and enjoying the solitude. But today, it was time to leave my sanctuary and venture into the mountains. The early mountain fog was still in the ground as the sun tried to peek through the trees. So where am I, you ask? Montana the Magnificent. More specifically, the northwest part of the state in Glacier National Park. My destination this morning, Mini Glacier. There's over a million acres of wilderness just below the Canadian border. Of historic interest is a hundred-year-old Glacier Hotel on the edge of Swift Current Lake. Popular with tourists and well known for its exquisite and rustic decor. There's certainly lots to see and do here if roughing it isn't on your list. But for me, I was hoping to avoid the crowds and get a little exercise. A good wilderness walk was on my list, so I headed down the Swift Current Trail. A couple of miles in takes you to the crystal clear waters of Red Rock Lake. The hike to Bullhead Lake is very easy and about four miles one way. This is a great place to enjoy a picnic with a view. But after Bullhead, the trail starts to get tricky, as there's lots of glacier melt in the spring. It was a little too early in the season to hike the Swift Current Pass, but I went as far as I could before heading back. Along with a good walk and fresh air, there's one other thing I'd hope to find that day. Scanning the horizon, I saw a fuzzy blonde patch above the tree line. This was the grizzly bear I was looking for, clawing something out of the slope. Whether it was digging roots or grubs is hard to say, but in June there wasn't much else for this bear to eat as the berries mature later in the summer. Yet this grizzly was fat, strong, and healthy. My day complete, I hiked back to the trailhead. The next morning, I headed for Going to the Sun Road. This is one of the most picturesque routes through any U.S. park and reaches 6,500 feet at the Continental Divide. Rising Sun Campground had some great spots in the shade and even had an A-liner when I passed by. And just past camp is the Wild Goose Island Lookout. 
As fate would have it, going to the sun was only partially open when I was there, as a rough winter kept the higher elevations impassable. So I had to settle for a walk in the Continental Divide Trail just past the Jackson Glacier Overlook. If lucky, I might make it to Pagan Pass. The 2003 fire took a lot of trees, but it opened up the slopes to new growth. Something this mule deer really appreciated. But the further I went up the trail, the more difficult it became. Well, this trail doesn't get any better. It's been up, up, up from the start. And I've only gone 1.3 miles. I'm only halfway to the next pass. <sighs> Hopefully it's a good view because I'm in the snow line now. Snow is something there was plenty of, and every time I broke through the crust, my boots filled up with ice pellets. As much as I would have liked to have made it a little bit farther, this is it. 2.8 miles. Snow was too much. Sometimes you get a false sense of security when it's supposed to be a short trail. But that really all depends on the conditions. And snow really makes it hard. So I'm packing it in. Back I go. In a few weeks, the snow will melt and the passes will open up. It's all that melting snow that feeds the streams and cascades down the mountainsides, which in turn keeps the meadows moist for spring flowers to bloom. And it's those spring flowers that feed another resident, a black bear. But this was just a roadside bear that particular species that just pops up for tourist cameras. In Glacier Park, you never know when something's gonna pop up. And even a parking lot can be that one spot where a close encounter with nature can really make your day. But the park was starting to get really busy, so I headed back to the peace and quiet of my little hideaway. In my absence, however, the herd had moved in. Not that I really had any issues with sharing. But it certainly seemed they had issues, as they really kept a close eye on me. Well, as the sun's ready to set, it was a great day. Beautiful hiking glacier, got to see a grizzly. Wasn't really up close, but that's not the point. I had, uh, I was determined I was gonna see a grizzly today and I saw a grizzly. So next time, hopefully I'll get an even closer picture. But uh, it's good when you, uh, you achieve the goals you try to do for the day. And uh, I also got to meet uh, somebody that's seen my videos. So, hello Deb, 
I hope you uh, enjoy your time in Glacier Park and maybe I'll see you again. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video and please check my other ones as well. Always go where the road takes you.